Um, so I understand last year's Florida State game doesn't have a ton of bearing on this, but it's kind of an opportunity just to look back at it. And, uh, you know, after Eric talked with Nate after the season, he said that he broke his foot in that game. And knowing that and seeing what he did, it's uh, just kind of interesting to think about performance. Like, what do you remember about that? And, like, I'm sure you've seen guys play through injuries. How does that stack up in gutsiness that you've seen? Unbelievable. And when it happened, what, third, fourth, fifth play of the game, I mean, it happened yeah. really early. And uh, we won a couple of series with Zach. And we didn't do terrible. I don't, I don't remember points, but I think the ball still moved a little bit. And then he came back in and it was, I mean, he was, I think he ran a, had a running play for 30 or 40 yards, another running play that was a good run. Had some throws, the throws to Custis, the throw to Ish. Took us back for that uh, field goal attempt before, is it James? Was it the James, the guy that was in the first round and went to the Chargers yeah. before he blocked yeah. it? Yep. You know, uh, just an unbelievable effort. And uh, once again, just another, just to go to show you how tough Eric Dungy is and how courageous he is and how fortunate we are to have an opportunity to watch him one more year. I mean, when this guy rolls out of here, there's going to be, was it, what's the word? What's the tall tales about him? And everybody's like, ah, he didn't do that. I'm like, the heck he didn't. <laughs> you can go back and Google it. I mean, he played an entire game with a broken foot and and almost won the game. Was there a conversation where you know he asked to come back on the field? I'm sure like met the medical guys had to clear him, but like what do you remember about that moment where it's like, it's all right, the, we're putting this guy in? It's it's to me. I went to the medical people and said, are you guys sure? Because <laughs> the last thing I want to do is hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like, no, he can't do anything. He can't hurt it anymore. Blah blah blah. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll see. If you can do something, I'll leave you out there. If not, then I'm going to pull you back out. So. They they knew it was a break, right? We just got a quick. Answer. I don't know the answer to that. Okay, you, they just knew it could, what, what had happened had happened and it wasn't going to get worse. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, I know you said last year's Florida State game doesn't really have any bearing on mm -hmm. this, but we haven't really uh, just had a chance to talk to you about what that game was like for you. Um, now that we know you kind of played on a broken foot, like, what, what was that like? How hard was that? Uh, I don't know if you've ever played on a broken foot before, Never but had a um, foot. yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's no fun. Um, I'll tell you that, but um, it's just kind of. The way, the way I was raised, um, no quitting me. I, as long as I could be on the field, I was going to be out there for the guys. Um, and luckily, my foot wasn't as swollen um, during the game. It swelled up after the game and kind of got worse. Um, so I wasn't able to finish the season. But during that game, I was going to give it all I could, all I could um, for my teammates. But um, other than that, you know, it was just, you know, I just want to be out there all I can.